Zayd ibn Haritha is from one of the tribes of Yemen. Zayd's mother and Zayd's father were from two different tribes, from the Yemeni tribes. Okay. And these two tribes had a love-hate relationship. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. One day, Zayd's mother took Zayd, her name was Su'da, took Zayd to her own tribe. And it so happened that a small skirmish broke out right at that time between her husband's tribe and her tribe. Okay. So Zayd's extended relatives, some distant uncles and whatnot, they got so angry that they did something very cruel. They took this child, seven, eight years old. They kidnapped him from his own mother. And even though she's a part of her, their own tribe, but because in Jahiliya and even in Islam, the son belongs to the father and the son takes the lineage of the father. So to get revenge at that tribe, they actually, astaghfirullah, stole one of their own sisters, relatively speaking, sisters, children, and that is Zayd. And they kidnapped him, obviously without the knowledge of his mother, and they sold him into slavery. And they sold him to Hakim ibn Hizam. And Hakim ibn Hizam is, of course, the, the nephew of Khadija. And Khadija had given Hakim money and said, go find a young slave for me, I need a servant at home. And so he becomes Khadija's servant. When Khadija marries the Prophet وسلم, Khadija gifted this servant to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم. This is way before Islam. Zayd's father is frantically looking for his son and it so happened that during one of the Hajj seasons, again this all in the days of Jahiliyyah, somebody from that part of the world in Yemen saw Zayd and recognized that his looks are from the tribe of Zayd's father. By asking him some questions, they realized this is Zayd. This is the boy that his father is frantically looking for him. And so when they returned from Hajj, they told Zayd's father, we think we found your son. So the father is overjoyed. He gathers all of the money he possesses. He gets as much money as possible. And the father and the brother, he goes with his brother. They travel to Mecca instantaneously. As soon as they get him out, they travel to Mecca. And so he goes and he approaches the Prophet and he said, Ya Muhammad ibn Abdul Muttalib, he ascribes him to his grandfather. You are of the most noble lineage and Allah has blessed you. And he keeps on praising and praising him. Ya Muhammad, we want to take our son back who was unjustly stolen or kidnapped and sold into slavery. We will give you any ransom you want, but please be generous with us because we can only afford so much. And so the Prophet Sallallahu said, is this what you want from me that I send Zayd back with you? They said, yes. And for whatever price you want, we will, we're, we're prepared to give this price for you. So the Prophet Sallallahu said, it is up to him. I will leave the matter to him. And if he chooses you, then I will send him back without any ransom. I don't need your money. But if he chooses me, then I can never turn away from somebody who has turned to me. And so they said, Oh Muhammad, you have done marvelous. You have done more than we could have asked for. And so the Prophet called Zayd. And we can imagine Zayd was probably around 25 years old at the time, roughly. So he's grown up. When he was kidnapped, he was seven, eight. He was just a child. So the Prophet asked Zayd, do you recognize these two men? And Zayd said, yes, I do. This is my father and this is my uncle. I recognize them. So the Prophet said, they have come requesting that you go back with them. And I have left the matter to you. If you want, you may go back with your father and your uncle. And if you want, you may remain with me. Instantaneously, Zayd says, I can never choose anyone over you. For you are to me more than a father and an uncle combined. SubhanAllah. Zayd's father stood up and he says, Haditha, and he says, Oh Zayd, have you gone crazy? Have you gone mad? You will choose to be a slave in a strange land. And you refuse to come back with your own father to your own tribe. And Zayd remarks for him, Yes, I have made my choice. I know what I have said. And I have seen from this man that which I cannot choose anyone over him. And when Zayd said this, the Prophet stood up took him by the hand and went to this hijr that we just talked about, the open part of the Kaaba, and he stood there and he made an announcement. That's where you made the announcements. And he said, O people of Mecca, I want you all to testify that from now on, Zayd is a free man and I have adopted him as my son. So he is now my son and he will inherit from me and I will inherit from him. And so he became known as Zayd ibn Muhammad. And he did this in front of the father in order to bring some peace to the father's heart. That look, your son is no longer a slave and I will adopt him and I will take care of him and he will inherit from me and I'm the grandson of Abdul Muttalib. Ibn Umar said, we never knew of Zayd by any other name except Zayd ibn Muhammad. That's what I thought he was until Allah revealed Surah Ahzab verse 5. Way later on, 30 years after this incident happened, right? And in Surah Ahzab verse 5, what does Allah say? 
ادعوهم لآبائهم هو أقصط عند الله Call children by their fathers That is what is no noble in the eyes of Allah And so that was when the Prophet ﷺ re-changed the name of Zayd And he said this is now Zayd ibn Haritha and not Zayd ibn Muhammad Zayd is one of those few people who it has been said were the first to accept Islam It is enough of a blessing for Zayd ibn Haritha That he is the only companion ever whom Allah mentions by name in the Quran فَلَمَّا قَضَى زَيْدٌ مِّنْهَا وَطَرَةٌ The only Sahabi whose name will be recited until the Day of Judgment. 